All right, at last, we're finally recapping episode Johnny Benson of Las Leyendas del Templo from almost over a week ago before Christmas break, you know, before the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400 holiday edition at work with Margaret. So let's get into it. It's been over a week, so I'm going to try to talk about it to every best detail I can remember. First of all, Maggie and Frank tore that shit up like Terry Labonte, even though they didn't even fucking win the temple run in the end. But they swept the temple games. Chris and Meredith gave them a run for their money, but Maggie and Frank outlasted them all the way through like John Andretti. <laughs> The steps of knowledge, on the other hand, between them two and um, the other team, I can't remember which. <sighs> it's been a been a week. I'm just going to go by what I remember. The steps of knowledge I know was a drag race. It was neck and neck. It was anybody's game. But Maggie and Frank and Meredith and Chris came out victorious on the steps of knowledge and. I mean, the, and also the mode in the beginning even was, was a mess. I mean, they, you had people thinking they had all, all the puzzles solved, you know. Every time they, they thought they thought all the puzzles, they had, blah, 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 they thought they had all the puzzles solved, but they did. And they tried to go hit the gong, the fucking thing wouldn't work. So they would have to, unlike in the original Las Leyendas del Templo, they don't have to go all the way back to the beginning if they fuck it up like Fabrizio Roberto. So, so therefore, they did. Yeah, if they made a mistake, they just had to go back to where to the mistake. Go back just to where they, the mistake took place instead of all the way back to the beginning in the '90s Nick version with Kirk. So, because in the '90s Nick version with Kirk, it was more difficult because of the fact that if you were to fight, all you had to do was just cross in that version and just cross, and that's it without falling in. And if you were to fall in, even if it's unintentional or if it's the other, if you'll. For example, in Kirk's version, if you like, you are going across at the same time. Even if you you didn't fall in, but your partner did, even you had to go back and start again. Here in Christella's version on the CW with the, on the with the adults, you don't have to do that. If you make a mistake, you're allowed to get out of the moat, but the gong just won't fucking work. So therefore, you have to go back and fix that mistake. That's what a lot of people had to do it in, in the last episode, considering that we didn't have an episode this past Sunday due to the holiday. So I don't know what those people were thinking but it was still one hell of an episode for sure and i believe the next episode is actually this coming sunday after the day after new year's um eve but is it brianna arsman's birthday um day after new year's yeah that's what i thought that's what i thought so if there's an if there's an episode of last leyendas del templo and uh, the day after new year's day I don't know what the hell we're going to do, but I'm going to figure that out, like, you know, in the, in, the, in the coming days. But in the meantime, I will see you all tomorrow for the Paris Burrell's b birthday live stream watch party for the Spurs and Heat game. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will, life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. It ain't for the week. God damn. Take care, everyone. Good night. And whenever the next episode may be, join us again for another great adventure and another great legend of the Hidden Temple. Bye-bye.